become increasingly safer over the past years, and it's actually helping many improve weight-related disease, though guidelines set in 1991 actually hadn't been changed until now. So here to tell us more about these new guidelines is Dr. Pavlos Papasavas, the Director of Surgical Research and the Co-Director of Bariatric Surgery at Hartford Hospital, who is also a member of the group who wrote the new guidelines for metabolic and bariatric surgery. Thanks for being here, Doctor. Thank you for having me. Tell us how it's become safer. The bariatric surgery community worked hard for many years to establish metabolic and bariatric surgery as a safe and effective treatment for this chronic debilitating disease that is called obesity. We now know that patients who had bariatric surgery live longer and have a lower risk of developing certain types of cancer. Uh, the surgeries are performed through a minimally invasive technique. Patients go home after a day or two, and the risks are very low. To give you an example, the risk of mortality from sleeve gastrectomy or gastric bypass ranges between 1 in 500 and 1 in 1,000 uh, 1, patients, so a very low number, comparable to the risk of having a gallbladder surgery. Okay. So very safe surgeries. So how have the guidelines now been updated to accommodate these changes over the years? The guidelines we used were established in 1991 by the National Institute of Health, and a lot of progress has been made since then. It was time to update them. Uh, to give you an example, the guidelines are based on the BMI, the body mass index of the person, which is calculated based on the height and the weight. Anybody who has a BMI over 40 or a BMI between 35 and 40 with a medical problem such as diabetes or sleep apnea can be considered for surgery. With the new guidelines, Anybody who has a BMI over 35, regardless of any other additional medical problems, could be considered for surgery. And patients with a lower BMI between 30 and 35, especially those who have diabetes, can now have access to bariatric surgery. Mm. The guidelines also address issues like age over 70 or high BMI because the surgery is very safe. Thank you, Doctor, and we want to invite you uh, to look into this more. If you want more information, you can visit hartfordhealthcare.org slash weight loss.